We saw that the men's soccer semifinals here. Women's soccer played in Maryland in the NCAA tournament. A header and in! Monmouth goal! Chase Barbieri! And the Monmouth Hawks take a 1-0 lead in the NEC championship game. Ah, what a beautiful service. Taking a wall in front of him. The pass is headed and it's in! Set pieces, set pieces or score are very dangerous for Monmouth. R.J. Allen with another beautiful service. I believe that was Kinney that was the one that was there waiting and had it deflect off his body and into the goal. Nine, Here's Noons. Eight, Noons. Seven, shot on goal, six, headed, five, kicked out, and West Long Branch, New Jersey, set to become the soccer capital of the Northeast Conference. Women last week, men this week, the Monmouth Hawks, 2009 Northeast Conference champions. Two to one winners over the Quinnipiac Bobcats in the championship game. And now here come the champs for the third time in history 1990, 2006, and now 2009. The Hawks, champions of the Northeast Conference. And as mentioned, you can call West Long Branch the soccer capital of the NEC. The women hoisted the trophy last week, and the men follow suit, get to hoist the trophy this week. And you know, if you look at what Mammoth has done since Rob McCord has been here over the last now five years, winning the regular season championship every single year over the last five, and now two NEC championship tournament wins. As a freshman, with a goal in the top of the of the round, and now Bostock answers with a goal in the bottom of the round. Now here's the Northeast Conference Player of the Year for the Hawks, Ryan Kinney. And he nets it to tie it at two. Robert Brickley, number 14 for the Huskies, a junior from Connecticut. And it's saved by Meredith. And now here's Ryan Clark, a freshman from Freehold, New Jersey. And it's good. So we go on into a sixth round of penalty kicks. These teams, it's like they're getting paid by the hour. They don't want this game to end. So now, the top of the sixth round. Here's Pezza. And it's saved by Meredith. What a huge save by Brian Meredith. Sprawling out to his right. Now the Hawks can win it. Cesar Blasito, sophomore from Ramsey, New Jersey, can send the Hawks to the round of 32. One-on-one -on -one with Josh Ford. And he scores! The Monmouth Hawks win it in penalty kicks, and they advance to the round of 32, their first ever NCAA tournament win. There is reason to celebrate in West Long Branch right now. To take a day off by some of the, the tough challenges that they've seen both in conference and out of conference. Ryan Clark with a one-touch opportunity. Hit the post. Goes into the goal. Cesar Blasito on the follow. The Hawks getting one off a deflected ball off the post. A shot by Ryan Clark that FDU quite honestly fell asleep on. The Hawks getting the first goal of the day to take a one. The intensity really starting to pick up here between both of these teams. And you could feel it, and I think it's only going to grow the longer this game stays scoreless. Vasquez, long service in. Looks towards Kinney. This one headed across. Rubenstein with the goal! What a great ball played by Vasquez and a great track by Ryan Kinney, the two-time conference player of the year. Finds the freshman, Jacob Rubenstein, who scores another big goal for the Hawks. Fourth goal this season, ball being set on the right side of the goal to the left of the goalkeeper. Then the centering pass and Rubenstein showing that anticipation that he showed on that, that shot attempt Davis. early. Over midfield, Mammoth will win the championship. The Hawks will go back into the NCAA tournament as the automatic qualifier in the Northeast Conference. Speedy freshman lets one go. Bending ball and it's in! Luke scoring here in the fifth minute of play has given Mammoth a 1 0 lead. Allen with the strike and the goal. 
Blackburn with the save. And we stay at 1-1. And Schmidt also goes in the same spot. All of the Mammoth players have kicked the ball to the left-footed shot. And another goal. A made PK here sends Mammoth to the NEC final. And the Hawks will have a chance to defend their championship as Anthony Vasquez able to beat Ocellini. And the Hawks win it 4-2 on PKs, 2-1 overall. And FDU is up next. Time here for Mammoth. Jim Honda battles with Allen. Allen able to keep it alive. Into the box for Perrin with time. Down towards the six-yard line. Across. Nobody there for Mammoth but Luke. He will blast one. That one saved by Lissick. In now. Off the foot of Soka. A scramble down low will give a goal for Mammoth. And that player, another freshman, Kale Soka. His fifth goal of the season. Luke, the freshman in the semifinals, got one for Mammoth. Soka gets into the act here today. The top of the box, Alvin is there to calmly collect and push out for Mammoth. Headed up in the air, Pernin and Preciado both there. Pernin pulled down by Preciado. Mammoth will get the restart here with a half minute left. And everybody's going to come up here. Pernin's down. Clock's still moving. Everybody's going to come Mammoth up. Mammoth wants Mammoth. numbers and it's a goal! The goal for the freshman. Kalei Sotka, Pernin down on the ground, and Sotka let it rip and able to beat Jacob Lissick. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2011 Northeast Conference men's soccer champion, Monmouth Hawks. That one in 1-1, one, 2-2 one. Two, two after two rounds. It's a long run forward here. Strikes and puts it high. Mammoth with a chance here to take what could be the margin of victory. Schmid gets the whistle. Quick approach. 3-2. Steps forward and puts that one into the upper 90. Why not leave it to your senior captain and Anthony Vasquez? Vasquez was the PK winner against Central Connecticut State. He can do it here and send his team into the second round of the NCAA tournament. And he does! Mammoth wins it 5-4. The celebration in West Long Branch begins. He's only been able to get three shots off. They've probably had, I'd say, about 60 to 65% of the possession in this match. They test Weiss off the head. It's Alves! Mammoth on top, 1-0. 16 0 2 to go in the opening half. Now there's a potential giveaway, and there is. Luke. On the left foot. Towards the box. Finds another one. Mammoth on top. 2-0. The substitute G will give the Hawks the two-goal advantage. Mammoth will move forward here. And Sorrow calling for it in the box. And the ball deflects in. It is Sorrow. Avalo sent it in. Sorrell put it in. And it's 3-0 Monmouth University. That one sent in the shot. And they score! It looked like Iona had a chance to clear that ball out, but the deflection couldn't see who it was. There was a crowd of players there in the box, but... We keep talking about how the Hawks are doing so good on defense, but you also have to remember, this is the most possessive time they've had in the offensive zone. This one gets chipped two and into the goal. It looked like Petrello had a chance to make the play. Turning point in this game. He's ready. He takes the shot. He scores. Six and a half now to play in the second order. And that one sent towards goal. Now you have some space. He shoots. He scores. And there it is. The Monmouth Hawks are able to defeat the Fairfield Stags in the they caught Turner a little bit out of position there. He, Turner tried to clear the ball out, but Nigro was there to gather the ball, settle it down, and turn from just inside the box and fire it past Turner for the victory.